Hello guys and welcome to another video. So, as you can see in front of us today, we have our PSA returns and we have a lovely nine boxes uh, back from PSA today. Um, I've tried to number them up as best as I can, but as you can see the two on the left hand side and the one on the top don't have numbers on. So, I'm going to take a wild assumption that they're going to be one and two. And I did send two uh, submissions in, so I believe the one on the top will be the second submission, and you all may know what that could be. I'm going to show you first, I might as well show you first. We'll get cracking straight away, so I believe we had, I can't remember now, something around 150 cards in this submission, so we are prepared for some tasty returns and it's already going to get tasty with these if I can even open the damn box come on because if this is the other submission and it is, it's just three cards in this one so if I can grab all these out and have them back first there's just some random PSA crap, bubble wrap there we are, so, if I move these other boxes to the side, that may actually give us a bit of space. Get you out of the way, buddy. I'll leave those there. So we have three cards from one of our submissions. We also have the new PSA labels, which look very nice. I um, don't know if you can see just on the actual middle part of the label, so like the lighthouse seal on it. So a very nice uh, start, a new style to PSA casing. And we have our uh, signed Mitsuhiro Arita cards. So first up is the Pop Series 5 Hollow Lugia. And this has been authenticated by PSA, which is a very nice card. I love that hollow swirl just in the middle there. So, perfect start, and if this is the other one, we sent in two, and both are of course authenticated, both look very nice, but this one here is one of my childhood cards, and very unique, so we sent um, the base set to Venusaur to be signed, and I accidentally left on the fact that I wanted a Lugia um, drawing on it. Well, I was meant to say I wanted a Venusaur drawing, but it looks so much more unique having the Lugia on it. So this is a beautiful card that's gonna stay in my collection forever. And you can be the basis for our background today. So, um, I'm going to start, let's start in sequential order. Oh, there's box two there. Um, so we have, Box number one, I believe, because it has no number on it, apart from some scrawny drawing. And let's see who we get into first. Um, from our last PSA submission videos, PSA kind of mixed the cards around between the cards I was sending and the cards other people were sending, so I'm not going to try and guess what's coming up next, because it could be bloody anything, to be honest. And we shall get it underway. Right. Uh, so back. Yeah, upside down already. And let us begin. So we have an English card to start, and it's one of mine. It's the Giovanni's Persian. Um, honestly, don't know why I sent this in. To be fair, but got an eight. Uh, I should start a stack. I do love stacks. So I'll do 8, 9, 10 on the, the right, and then anything else can not get any screen time, which will hopefully be none. We have a Nimint 8 Vioplume Hollow, and this is the Expedition base set. Looking very nice. I found this in a card shop. Thought, why not? And got a snake, it's not too bad. And moving us on, we have a Near Mint 
mint uh, reverse hollow wheezing again uh, expedition and again number eight so a bit of a rocky start on our English cards but I don't really care I don't really collect English so that's fine we have a mint nine skarmory that's a very nice looking card lovely little pattern on the reverse foil there Uh, we have a Mint 9 Polyrafe, uh, again from Expedition. So that's another very nice card. Uh, still on the English, we have a Mint 9 in Nine Tails. So these are probably all the E series we have towards the back end of the submission. And last but not least, we have a Reverse Kingdra, and it's a 7. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit of a low grade. Lovely looking card, but uh, where can I put you, buddy? You just have to go over here. You don't have to be in this video anymore. And swiftly on to box number two. So, okay grades there. No tens from the first box was just a shame. We can only hope we get a lot more in the boxes to come. Here we go, lovely load of cards here. And we have some old back Japanese already. I'll pop that there, pop me in the middle. So, starting us up, we have a Gemmint 10, we have the Dark Alakazam. That's a lovely looking card. So, a good start on our um, old back Japanese hollows. We have a Gem 10 in the Promo Reverse Foil uh, Charizard, so this is the Neo Premium File 2. And I know I sent one of these in in the last submission, I've got 9. So I'm quite happy we've got 10 there. We have a Crobat and another Gem 10. So it seems the old Uppsala Hollows are getting uh, all the gems, which is great. I'm going to start ticking these off. This one, another one looking good. And we have a Dark Espion. And another Gem Mint 10. This is a lovely card as well. Again, we got another one of these in Gem 10 in the last submission. And in our next submission, I need to do a video on. We have another 150 cards or so. I have about five Dark Espions going in that one. We have a Kingdra, and it's another Gem 10. Another lovely looking hollow. And we have our first nine of the old backs. It's a Vaporeon. That's a shame because it's a very nice looking card. Um, looks very clean. Could just be the centering on the front of the card, which is a shame. But hey ho, I have to just get more to send in. We have a Gem 10 Steelix, which is another lovely card. Um, one I remember from my childhood uh, in English, but. We don't collect any English anymore. We have a Scizor and another Gem 10. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Dark Scizor if it's Neo Destiny. Hey ho, lovely looking card either way. And one I can tick off. Ah, we got a nine on our Dark Gengar, that's a shame. But a lovely card, I've got another one going in because I didn't really think this would get a 10 anyway. You can kind of see the centering from top to bottom is not quite there. But oh well, still a nice card. We have a 9 on the Celebi. That is also another nice card. It's just a shame we've got a 9 on. Again, centering issues on there. Oh, that's a shame. I quite like that Celebi. Again, from our Japanese bulk we got a few months back. We have a Gem 10 in the Giovanni's Machamp. And that's a lovely looking card there. I love how our Gem 10s are stacking up already. That card seems to be moving in there. How odd. It's a 9, no, Mint 9, sorry, Dark Dragonite, but I've never... Never seen the card move before, that's a bit 
strange. I'll have to double check that one. Mint 9. Not too bad on the Dragonite. We have a Gem 10 in the Lucky Stadium. Quite like these cards uh, we had from our bulk stack. Nice to have one of these in a tent. And we have a 9. So not too fussed on that one because we've got the 10 in the last one. Ah, we have a 9 in our Alakazam. It's a shame because I thought these would be 10s on both. It's probably sent. Yeah, you can see a centering issue on that one, which is a shame. This one looks good, and it's a nine as well. So we still got to find those tens on Alakazams. Oh, we have a nine on the Haunter as well. That's a shame. Picked up so many Haunters from our bulk session, so I was sure to get at least one ten. Oh, we got an eight on this one. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, back to English. Here we go. And we have a light Togetic. Again, not too sure why I sent that one in, but hey-ho, got an eight. We are now already on to box number three. And quite a few tens already out. Hopefully a lot more to show up. So if you've not seen my... Um, PSA submission video, then you won't know what's coming up next, but if you have, we have some spectacular cards coming out, and pop you that way, and starting us off, I'm going to move these out of the way, right, turns, you can go over there now, so much more space, there we go. So, English coming up. We have our Agroni X. And it got a 7. That's. How's that down there? Oh, there's not much wrong with this Agron. Well, you can stay over there, buddy. Moving on up, we have our Get Campaign Ashes Pikachus. So, first one is a 10. I'll see if I can stack them all up somewhere. Uh, no, okay. I'll just... I'll leave them hanging around for a minute. No, you're never going to stay. Right. Can we get a full set of 10s? We have the second one in a 10. Which is a cracking start. And there's three. Awesome. We're getting four. We're two off. And uh, luckily enough, I sent in two sets, but we may not need two sets. If this bad boy is a 10. Oh, it's the wrong bloody Pikachu. Okay, well, we've got another 10 in Pikachu anyway. It's the uh, 20th anniversary, um, what is it? The Let's Trade Please Pikachu, which is quite nice. But not the Pikachu I was looking for. Will it be you? It won't be you, it's the Daichi Pan uh, Pikachu. Another 10 though, that's pretty cool. Quite happy with that one. And we have an Easter Pikachu now. And another Gem Mint 10. Lovely looking hollow effect on that one. And that one will sit in our random Pikachu collection we have. I've no idea what I'm doing with my Pikachu collection. Uh, we have a Nimit 8 on the Kingdra EX. Not too bad. Back to Japanese. Hey, we have the Folklore's Lucario EX. Nice gem in 10 from our um, Mew and Lucario gift tin we opened. Lovely to get that one in a 10. We have the Crawdont EX in a 10. That's awesome. So nice to see those coming out, but those were not the ones that we were looking for as such. We were looking for the... Um, Looking for us, looking to get tens on the. Oh wow! Didn't expect to get ten on this one either. I'm pretty sure we we were complaining about this corner over here. 
but apparently that's got Gemmin 10 on it. Lovely Mew EX though, either way. But no, we were looking to get the Gold Stars in 10s. These were just additional extras as such. Ah, uh, we got a 9. Ah, oh, that's a shame. How did the Mew get a 10 and this got a 9? Ah. Uh, then we got a full set of EXs in 10s then. Moving on up, we have a 9 on the Deli Bird. Oh, you're on the wrong stack, buddy. Can't add you to the collection either, Deli Bird. Hey, we have a Gem and 10 on the Ampharos. So this is another one we picked up from um, our local card shop. Lovely to add you into the collection, buddy. We have a Dark Gyarados. Another awesome card in Gemmint 10. And what do we got next? We have a Dark Hypno. Another Gemmint 10. So that's pretty awesome. And last one from box number three is a Needle King. Nice. So we have another Gemmint 10 in the uh, Japanese uh, Hollow collection. And it's our first base set, Gemmint 10. So that's pretty awesome. But I'm still missing one of our lovely Pikachus. Or maybe six, because seven. Seven Pikachus. Let's figure out which one's the last one now. I'll leave those to the side. And moving on up to box number four. Hopefully you're in here, Pikachus. The worst pair of scissors I've ever had. Right, there we go. Nope, still not open. Sod and scissors. There we go. And we are away again. So Next up, we have. Oh, we're on to gold stars. Lovely. So, we have a mint nine on the Regirock Hollow. Oh, Regirock Gold Star. Don't know why I called that a Regirock Hollow. Lovely grade on that one. Shame it's not a 10, though. Also, look perfect as a 10. We have another nine in the Groudon. I've already got this dude in a nine. But two cannot hurt. We have another 9 in Mudkip. Um, this one I wasn't too fussed on to be honest, as we already have a gem at 10 in the Mudkip. So, 9's not too bad at all there. Moving on up, we have the um, 2017 Battle Festa Pikachu. So, another gem at 10 there, which is a lovely looking card. Nice sparkle to that one. Teasing us with a few gold stars there and then going into Pikachu's again. And another gem and tent. Another gem and ten. Awesome. Number four of the gem and tens. That's pretty cool. Number five, I think we sent in nine. I know a few other people had um, requested them from me. That's number five. Number six, these are awesome. Love that gem at ten stack. There's number seven there. Oh, is this our last Pikachu? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Another stack of the Get, Get Campaign uh, Pikachus. So this is the Ashes Pikachu again. Oh, damn it. I don't know which one we need now. Oh, we already got him as well. Another 10. That's awesome. Oh, we're back to... Oh, we've got a 9. Oh, he's got a bit of a nick on the bottom of him. Oh, what do you like? All right. 
Let's see if we can get this full get campaign Ashes Pikachu's out. Right, do we have this dude? We do have this dude, so another gem at 10. We have another gem in 10, awesome. One we already have it in a 10 as well. Oh, I think these are all going to be 10s, aren't they? Okay, so these two should be the same card. So I think it's the same cards we're missing. And it's the red um, Ashes Pikachu, so another gem at 10. And yes, awesome. So we have a full set of the Get Campaign um, Pikachus. If I can just shove them along. I know there is one more. I can find that somewhere. Maybe I can't. I know there's one more I'll have to um, do a screenshot of, which we will be sending off to PSA as well. So maybe there's seven in a set. I'm missing that one. Another 10, awesome. So we have two Gemma 10 sets of these, which is great. Um, I may as well just sell the other sex. We don't need it. That's awesome to get to two of them. I can bloody pick them up now, Christ. There we go. Awesome. So we are on box number five. And our Gemma 10 stack is becoming massive. Right, grabbing new scissors. And we shall go away again. Right. These scissors look to be a lot better than the other crap I was using. Put you over there, and let's continue. Right. So, moving us up, we have. Hey, we're back to gold stars, but we have a seven. That is rough. Well, I'm not sure where you got a seven, buddy, but it looks like you're off the screen. Oh, that's annoying. So, going back to Misty's Tears, we have another nine. Oh, I'm going to get a 10 of the Hanada City Gym Deck Misty's Tears eventually. I've got two nines at the moment, that's rather annoying, but hey ho, got another two going in. Seems every submission I have one of them, and awesome. We have the lovely uh, Fan Club Eevee in a PSA 10. This is one we had from the bulk stack. And this is fantastic to get this in a 10. That just looks spectacular. And you can sit up there, buddy. Moving on up, we have the Fur Alligator Lottery promo. Another gem at 10. Another strange looking Fur Alligator design, but still awesome. Ah, we have an 8 on the Meganium. and that's pretty bad. Not sure why this is an 8 though. That's a shame. And I didn't send the Typhlosion in because that probably got less than an 8. We have an 8 on our Mugold Star as well, that's, that's annoying because the last one I got was an 8. Now we have another 8. I want a 9. These could potentially be more gold stars. And it's our Pikachu. Bloody last one got a seven as well. Looks like we're destined to get sevens on the Pikachus. Ah, oh, that's also a night you can't even get on the, the screen, buddy. <laughs> Moving on up. We have an eight in our Trico gold star. Not too bad for that one. I think I picked this one off up off of eBay for about £50. Getting a PSA 8 is not too bad at all. Hey, we have a 9 on it. Awesome. So we have, we, we did send in 2, of course, as you can see. And we have a mint 9 on this bad boy, so that's awesome. Hopefully this is the Torchic. 
And it is, and we have another nine. This is a lovely looking card. It's one I'm considering keeping in English. Just because I was exclusively going to collect the Japanese, but the English torch, it just looks spectacular. So I may keep the Team Rockets Returns Gold Stars, and then, of course, the Evolutions, and then just go straight to Japanese. We have an 8 on our Regis, which is a shame. You can see that lovely hollow swell. If I zoom in just to the side of it, which is very nice there. But you're an 8, buddy. You don't meet the 9 club. This is looking very fine. And it is, we have another Flareon. So we've already got one of these. We have another 9. Lovely grade for a lovely card. Nice to see three more gold stars going into the 9 section. Hey, another one. So we already have our Alakazam in a 10. So why not pick up a 9 as well? Which is also spectacular. Not needed, really, to be honest, but still spectacular. And our brother Alakazam got us an 8, which is not too great. I mean, you can see the centering is just terrible on this card. So no wonder this one got an 8. <laughs> Moving along. And we have... A spectacular grade on a Rayquaza here. Gem Mint 10 on an unlimited Rayquaza, which is just phenomenal there. I mean, that's just spectacular. I mean, we've already got one in, uh, well, the unlimited Ray, which is what this is. But having two is just, I mean, I've just lost for words on this bad boy. That is spectacular there. Ah, oh, you're never gonna live up to that 10 ray, are you? Right, Nimit 8 on the Metagross Gold Star. Moving on up, we have a nine. And it's the first edition Gary, so our Unlimited got a seven. We have a nine on our first edition, it's not too bad. And oi, we have another 10. So we have the gift box Mewtwo, which is awesome. I'm happy that one got a 10. Means our gift box was worth it. And hopefully this is the Pikachu. It is the Pikachu, and we got another 10. So we don't need our gold star PSA 9 anymore. We have a 10. So that one can get on this very nice uh, off the screen stack. We got onto box number six, and two more boxes to come after this. So this will probably be everyone else's submissions, I believe, coming up rather soon. Oh, that's upside down. And let's see what we have. So, oh, okay, we're on to full art trainers now. So we have a gem 10 on the Plumeria. I'm going to have to start another gem 10 stack. We have another gem 10 in the Kawai, Kiawe, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's taken me about 10 videos to nearly get it right. We have Lima, another gem 10, that's awesome. So our full art collection is steadily rising. I did cut out the um, special case um, Giovanni scheme and Team Rocket just to resend to PSA because they were nines and they don't look like nines, they look like tens. So hopefully they come back as tens and we can only wait and see what happens there. We have Gem 10 in Professor Sycamore. And just going back to Team Rocket, if we get nines again, we'll have to just sell them and use the other promos we have from the sealed box, so I'd prefer to not do that. And that howl looks awesome. 
another tent. And Shauna got a 10. Um, I know I've been calling this bloody card May for quite some time. Because I'm an idiot. But it is Shauna. Oh, okay. We have the Gem 10 Espion Hyper Rare. So this is one that Crystal pulled in a video quite a while back. And look at that sparkle. That's awesome. Lovely looking cards to have any 10. And we have the Ho-Ho, awesome. So the Rainbow Rare um, German 10 Ho-Ho GX, which is very nice. And we have another 10 in the Falot Ho-Ho. Oh man, that's looking awesome. Nice to have that in a 10. Ah, oh, we got a nine. The muscular dumbbells or bodybuilding dumbbells. Oh, that's a real shame. That was a lovely looking card as well. Shame to have that one in a nine. Oh, we did get this to bad boy in a ten though, that's awesome. This is a truly spectacular card to have encapsulated. I just love the uh, hollow pattern on his wings. So that's. Oh, what are you doing there, mate? You're not a 9, no, a 10. Got there. Move on up. We have our Charizard GX and a Gemmint 10 on him. We sent in 6, so hopefully these are all the 6. Another Gem 10 is awesome. There's 2 out of 6. Nice, three out of six, come on, halfway there. We get all of them in gem 10, that'd be fantastic. There is four. Oh, picked up two. Five, come on, last one. This is awesome that we're getting them all in gem 10s. And we did, nice. So, Charizard GX, and we have gem 10, in the regular GX and in the full art as well. Last card of this box is the Eveltal EX, nice. And this one also got a 10, which is awesome. It's a very nice looking card there. And one for the 10 stack. So two more boxes remaining. And let's see what we have in store for us. I say struggling to open these bloody boxes. Right. To be quite honest, having only four PSA 7s at the moment is pretty good going. With that being said, we have English coming up, so you never know what we're going to get here. You're in the way. There we go. All right. Oh wow, we have a German 10 in the, uh, which pre-release is this? The Guardians Rising pre-release. That's awesome. Lovely to have that one in a 10. I know this is uh, one of the guys that sent off their submission with me. So well done to them. And a Haunter got a 7. So that's fairly unfortunate. I'll pop you over here, buddy. We have, oh wow, six, ooh. Oh, what's going on with this one then? That's a shame that that one got a six. Unlucky on the dark Arbok there. Back to Gemmint Tens, we have the Mewtwo EX, that's awesome, because it's English. In a gem 10. So well done for getting that one in a 10. Oh wow, another gem 10 English in the. Oh, what am I saying? It's the Evolutions, that's what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, back to Japanese. Oh, we have the 20th anniversary Gem 10 as well. And we have the Pokemon Grand Opening. That's pretty awesome. Another Gem 10 on the Aura's Lucario. Again, this is some other guys that sent off with me. And these are there. These appear to be their cards coming out. Um, the Mega Gengar EX from the Premium Championship Pack. Another Gem in 10. I love that this stack is dwarfing every other stack. And we have another Promo Hooper. Another Gem in 10. Moving up, we have the another Premium Championship pack in Shaman and another Gem in 10. Shaman EX, I should say. I know there is a Shaman EX from Best of XY. Oh, the Full Art, I should say. This is from Best of XY as well. So it'd be good to see that one in a 10. Oh, here it is. And it is a 10. So that's pretty awesome. Lovely effect on that one. So beautiful card. Moving up, we have, oh, what am I? So we have another full art trainer in Sharon. And this is probably one of my favorite full arts. You can see the glowing red tie he has. Just love the pattern of the black and white Full arts, excellent. Uh, black white full arts. And we have Chorus, another gem at 10, awesome. Another spectacular pattern on that one. And we have Getsis, another gem at 10. Awesome looking card. I believe all the, um, yeah, still going. All the uh, full art trainers I've sent have been 10s, which is just great. And Lysander in a 10 is just always the cherry on the uh, top of the cake. We do have that bad boy in English, but he doesn't fit the Japanese collection, of course. So getting a Japanese 10 is awesome. We have a gem 10 in Fossil Researcher. Another lovely looking card. And another Gem 10, awesome, in the Teammates. So, our collection of Full Art Trainers is coming up very nicely. And the last card from this box is another Full Art and another Gem 10 in Winona. Another spectacular looking card. And down to the last box of this video. So, what are we going to grab here, eh? Let's see what's remaining. I know a few guys have got some cards coming out. Oh, got some random stuff coming out as well. Not sure what this is. What's going on here, PSA? You're sending me some random hockey dude. What do I do with Seth Jones? Okay, thanks, PSA. Sorry, Seth Jones, but I have no idea who you are. But moving back to Pokemon, we have a Gem 10 in the Nidoran Reverse Hollow. So I'm, I know who that one is, that's uh, Moffat's Game Room. Oh, we have a Nido King break and a Gem 10 in that one. So well done to him on getting that one in a 10. Another Mewtwo EX and another 10. There's 10 packs getting quite high indeed. Oh, I spoke too soon. We have a Pidgeot EX, and it's a 9. So, 
If I can find the nine stack, there it is. You're good over there, buddy. Back to tens, we have the Mega Pidgeot EX in a gem ten. And a second one in a gem ten, that's awesome. Oh, wow, these are all tens. Of course it is. Evolutions, so one of the easier XY sets to grade four tens. And these are appearing to be tens, which is awesome. Another gem 10 in the Venusaur EX. Oh, and we are on to another birthday Pikachu. And another gem mint 10. Lovely looking card right there. And we have the Crystal Guardians uh, Blastoise Hollow. And this one is a mint 9. Back to old back. Oh, that's just the one old back. And it's a Lugia. And this one is a mint 9. Oh, we have another Lugia. So it's the uh, Plasma Gale Lugia EX. And this is spectacular in a 10. So congratulations to Primal Lugia on getting this bad boy in a 10. It's a truly wonderful looking card. Moving on up, we have another gem 10. So it's the uh, Mega Rayquaza EX from Bandit Ring. And that is a lovely looking card. We have a Mint 9 on the Moltres Hollow. Pretty sure that's the Hollow Hunter who had that one. And a Tapu Lele has got a gem mint 10. I love the uh, the kind of rainbow pattern effect that the new full arts have. So another gem 10 is awesome. Moving on to the last three cards, we have a nine on the Drampa, another Guardians Rising pre-release card. So I think the Sand Slash was a 10. I'm not sure I've ever seen the other two. Uh, here's one of them, is Mudsdale, another 9. And maybe this last card is the last pre-release hollow. It is, it's uh, Oracorio, and it's a Gem Mint 10. So that's pretty nice, and a nice finish to this video. If I can pan out slightly, you can see the extent of our Gem Mint 10s right there. Kind of eclipsing everything else but thank you guys for watching our latest PSA so if you can see it's a tale of towers in terms of PSA 10s um, we will have another PSA submission video going up probably after this one and we have a bloody load of cards going in there so it's probably going to eclipse this one just because of all the uh, bulk stacks we've been getting over the last few weeks and of course Shining Legends so we've got 19 or 20 Shining Legends Shining cards to go in so it's going to be a big send off so be sure to check that one out after this one and of course have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in the next video